The name of this play is called the Three Guna. This is a story of a man named Guna. When he was young, Guna was living in the space of Tamas, and being in this space, he gave birth to his first son, Tamas. He thus was displaying the qualities of Tamoguna, which are imbalance, disorder, chaos, anxiety, impurity, delusion, negativity, dullness, laziness, violence, and ignorance. Hi there, I'm Thomas. See, life is in this. My wife is working and I can totally enjoy the life like this. My wife takes care of my eating, drinking and pays all my bills. Wow, how cool is that? Guna then moved on to the space of Rajas. Being in this space, he gave birth to his second son, Rajas. He thus displaying the qualities of Rajoguna, which are passion, constant activity focused on results, self-centeredness, egoistic driven, and dynamic. Hey Rajas, how are you doing? Doing good friends. I'm excited to expand my business with friends like you. I have not seen someone greater than you in my life. We are fortunate indeed to be your friends. Thank you, thank you. Come on, let us not waste any further time and discuss the new business proposal. Sure, but before that, can we have lunch? I am so hungry. Oh, my dear friend, time is money. So we can't waste our time on lunch and other things. If you are hungry, just grab a coffee and come. Guna then evolved to the space of Sattva. Being in this space, he gave birth to his daughter Sattva. She thus displaying the qualities of Sattva Guna, which are being balanced, in harmony, expressing goodness and purity, being constructive and creative, expressing a positive attitude, being peaceful and virtuous. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ram, Ram, Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna. Oh, looks like I missed a call from my papa. Let me call him back. Hare Krishna, papa. I missed your call earlier. Papa was chanting, so I could not attend your call. How is your health? Yeah, Papa. Okay. Okay. As you desire, Papa. Yeah, Papa. By Krishna's mercy, I will visit you along with my family this weekend. I am so glad that you are inviting my brothers too. Papa, it's been very long since we all met. By Krishna's blessings, we will surely have a quality time together. Pranam, Papa. Guna then calls Tamas and Rajas, inviting them to come to his place to talk about his property distribution among three children. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. How are you? 
Blessings, my daughter. With Krishna's mercy, I am doing well. Happy to see you and your family. By the way, I have a question for you. How are you dealing with your stress and strain in your daily life? Stress? What stress? Papa, you know, by grace of Krishna, we do not have that problem of stress or strain. Yes, we are busy, but we have surrendered to Krishna. We visit the temple every weekend with our friends and neighbors and spend our day with Kirtan, Puja, Prashadam, with many other devotees. It keeps us calm throughout the entire week. I am so happy to hear that, my daughter. I hope both your brothers also get the taste of this wonderful way of living and realize that the ultimate purpose of human life is to surrender and serve the Supreme Lord Krishna. Even I too wish that, Papa. Hey, Dad, what's up? Hello, my son. Happy to see you and your family. I hope all my papers are ready for me to sign and I can go somewhere to enjoy the rest of the time. We will talk about that later. First, tell me, how are you dealing with your day-to-day -day stress and strain, my son? Stress? What will happen to me when there's nothing to worry about except enjoying the life? Okay, my son. You had a long travel. Refresh yourself and relax a bit. Hey, Dad. You look fine and healthy. <laughs> Hello, my son. I am fine. I hope you are also doing good and healthy. Dad, what's there to meet in person for the property distribution? We could have set up this over phone and online instead of wasting my valuable time here. Hmm, I hope you are also dealing well with your stress and strain in your busy schedule, my son. Dad, you gotta be kidding. My entire day from dawn to dusk is packed with business dealings, conference calls, executive discussions, budget reviews and what not. Practically, there is no time for me to feel stress. Dad, can we make it quicker? so that I can put my time in other important activities. Brothers, we're together after so many years. Let us stay here for a few more days and spend some quality time together. You all must be tired from your travel. Let's take some rest and we will discuss tomorrow. The sons along with their families went to rest half-heartedly. Sattva also went to complete her sadhana before going to bed. Guna prays to Krishna and then goes to take rest. All four of them are in deep sleep. Suddenly, there is an explosive sound and the house starts shaking. They wake up and it's chaos and Guna. Oh no! I'm stuck here by missing all my fun and resting. What the hell is this? Hello? Yeah? I'm at my dad's place and fine. Except that we had an earthquake. Mm -hmm. What? My two friends are missing from a massive earthquake there? I am so grateful to God that we are alive and safe. Apparently, the earthquake was massive in our city and minor over here. Oh, good! How fortunate I am! At least I can go to the club and party here. <laughs> Thank goodness. I have secured all my important documents and valuables before I left. What a relief. Hare Krishna, we all might have lost our dear lives if we had stayed back at our city. 
That's true, my daughter. We are really fortunate and blessed that we are safe here. Since I secured all my valuable documents, I don't have to worry about whatever happened. Bahia, what will you do with all your valuable documents? I will continue expanding my business. Okay, Bahia. After expanding your business more and more, what will you do? Earn more money, bigger houses, and luxurious cars. Okay, Bahia. Then what's next? What? What do you mean? Thomas Bahia, if you were at your home, what would you be doing now? As usual, I would be finishing my drinking, eating and would be sleeping by now. What do you really get by eating, drinking and all your other habits? I enjoy life this way. You call this as enjoying life? Well, I feel I'm at top of the world at that moment and I don't have to worry about anything else. Baya, tell me, how do you feel after that moment passed by and when you become normal? Normal? Obviously miserable, lonely and depressed. But again, I will drink and get that moment of happiness. Yeah. So, do you really maintain that happiness? And are your wife and children happy with the way you are? Of course, no. They are not happy the way I am. But who cares? Exactly. So, do you see the vicious cycle you are in? Dear brother, what you are thinking as enjoyment is in fact escaping and wasting your life. With all your bad habits, you are just not conscious and causing more and more suffering to yourself and your family. But Bahia, there is still hope for you. Hope? What hope? And how? If you can only elevate to a higher taste, you will lose craze for these lowest level addictions. If you can move on to experience the taste of Krishna, you are saved forever. True, oh, my sons. I am so glad that you have come to this place where you can take a step back and look at your lives. And I will tell you the secret how to get there. Secret? What is that? The secret is satsang, a good association. Satwa's association is a very powerful one because she and her family have dedicated their life to the service of Krishna and his devotees. To see that sattva is so calm and relaxed even in this moment of it's kind of amazing she is relaxed because she realizes the fundamental truth of life fundamental truth what is that the moment of unhappiness and agony is not permanent our life is a continuous wave of happiness and sorrow However, the undeniable truth is that happy or sad, every happening in our life will not stay for long and will pass. Well, I never thought about life in that way. Hmm. What you are saying may be true. It is a simple truth too. But I wonder why I never realized it till now. Yeah, me too. That is because of your mind. Your mind does not allow you to see the truth. Our mind? Our mind? Yes, it is our mind which advises us about right, wrong, good, bad, what to do and what not to do. For example, at this moment there is chaos all around us and this is happening equally for all of us. But each one of us is reacting to the situation in different ways. That is because our mind analyzes and allow us to respond differently. Hmm, interesting. Can I also be calm like you? How can I do that? Yes, you can. By training your mind to higher frequencies. When your mind is not tuned to higher frequencies, you will be limited to see your life in the lowest level, like how you think of bottle, eating and sleeping all the time. But if you can tune your mind to a little higher frequency, you will see your life as an opportunity to grow, like how Rajas Bhaiya does. And when you tune your mind to the highest frequency, you will be able to perceive and realize the highest truths of life and our existence. 
So your mind can be your friend or your enemy. It is one of the main tools that help you to live your life. How can I train my mind and reach to the highest frequency? All you need to do is, while performing your day-to-day -day actions, constantly think of Krishna, chant his holy name. That will purify your thoughts. Your purified thoughts will purify your words and actions. Oh, but that is difficult. My mind keeps wandering all the time. How can I focus on only one thing, like Krishna's name? Oh, that's true. But your mind can be trained when you completely surrender to Krishna in all the physical forms that He is available for us at our time and age. What are those forms? One, His holy names. Chant them continuously inside and outside. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna resides in his holy names. Second, reading and listening to scriptures such as Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And third, Satsang, a good association. Yes. I can believe that. Just being with you and Satwa these few hours has transformed my life so much. This has been the most valuable time of my life. Yeah, I too agree. <laughs> so just like how I and Satwa's family are doing, please start going to a local temple near your home and be in the company of devotees and do seva in the name of Krishna. So if I do all this, is it guaranteed that I will move to a higher frequency of existence? Yes. All this is new to me, but I'll definitely try to follow this from now on. Thank you Father and Sattva for sharing your wonderful knowledge with us. Talking to you has infused a great energy in me. Yes, I also feel very light just by hearing your words. I will practice this. Thank you dear father and my little sister for this very valuable conversation. This drama they made just in two rehearsals, Thursday and Friday. And uh, this drama directed by Prasad Jilakaran. And the Guna acted by uh, Ravi Kaplevi. And uh, Thomas Sravan. And Vajo Guna Mayank Prabhu. And uh, uh, supporting to Mayank, two friends, Rami Reddy and Ravi. And, and sound recording. Sattva Guna Vishal Mataji. And sound recording supported by Kumar Reddy. He has taken a lot of time than, any, than anyone. So for every character, he took around uh, three to four hours to spend on time. And from his office also, he spends a lot of time on that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Actually, story, screenplay, it's all Narayan Prabhu. Each side is his concept. 
Thank you. Thanks, sir. And, and the dialogue written by Madhavi, she is from uh, Hyderabad. Thank you very much. And the whole concept we got it uh, because of the grace of uh, Prabhupada's program. <laughs>